EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Hello again and welcome. Rich Lauder alongside my colleague Frank Navalo for EA Sports. Getting set to go at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. We're located along the St. John's River in the great state of Florida. Now back over to the fourth. Early in the round and playing reasonably well. Nothing great, but has certainly not given a whole lot away. Yeah, and actually a good, good position to really springboard the round from here. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. Even par currently. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Just a couple of feet. Still even par for the day. Now to the fifth hole here at the Wetlands. Par 5, 635 yards. A lot going on here, Frank. The shorter hitters don't really worry about the uh, the swamp land on the left because it really only cuts in to worry the longer hitters if you want to try and reach this par five and two. So shorter hitters, two good shots, set up a wedge shot. Longer hitters, are you straight enough to hit it into the narrowest part of the fairway? So in a good spot now, fairway again, and a good opportunity to make a birdie here on the par five. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. There's a bunker over there. I think he's headed for it. Into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. Just trying to make clean contact from the rough. Good recovery shot. Couldn't make the green, but at least he's back in play. Played the smart shot right there. Frank, you like his chances to walk away with a par here? Well, with a good shot, Rich, yeah, that's certainly on the cards in that. And um, and you think, you just ride a par down at the end of the end of the hole, don't tell anyone about it. It certainly won't affect the scorecard at the end of the day. So that's the goal right here. Solid play, heart of the green. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Trying to get out of here without too many bumps and bruises. This one is for bogey. So with that, one over par. Par 4 sixth here at the wetlands. 440 yards and water to deal with. Two choices here, Rich. Lay it up. Short of the wetlands, or, well, chance it, brave enough, tee it up, and flash it across the wetlands to just a mere short iron into this lengthy par four.
Well, it's going to take a good one here, considering what they've already gone through, Rich. Um, right now, that green is going to look very small, so it's going to take a good shot here to give himself an opportunity. Some really poor play to this point. That will be a great look at birdie. And getting ready for the putt. Nice putt, and now back to level par. Always nice, Frank, to put the peg in the ground coming off a of birdie. Well, this game's all about reward, and we just saw that back there. Now, can you be rewarded two holes in a row? Nice position, short grass, second shot. This is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. This is a good looking shot. And it generates some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. Back to back birdies, we'll see. Wow, I thought it was going in just off the mark by a fraction. He has this attempt for par. Been a little too much of that, Frank, just sort of ho-hum pars. Eighth hole here at the Wetlands, par three, 203 yards. You like this hole, Frank? I do, actually, but you have to have a little look at your yardage book, because that uh, front bunker will make this hole look a little shorter. Uh, to the eye than actually what it plays. Green gets a little narrow as it gets deeper, but um, flat. And, uh, well, I wouldn't say easy. Three here, not too bad. Second shot, good look at the green. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not gonna see much better than that all day today. Settles in over the putt. Still playing even for the day after the par. Frank, looking at this par five ninth hole, it's 621 yards. I need to make birdie here. What's the best way to go about it? Well, if you're a long hitter, then there's a chance you can reach this par five and two, Rich. But really the best way to make birdie here, good tee shot, and then contemplate the layup in between the first two bunkers. There's a nice section of fairway, and that's not going to leave you much in for that third shot to a green that's very receptive. So really, birdie can be made the hard way, wedge and a putt. Second shot.
Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. That should be pretty good right there. On a safe side. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. Has the putt, and now at minus one. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow. For our entire crew, I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now.